Welcome to my channel. IBM Watson X Assistant is a market-leading conversational artificial intelligence platform designed to help you overcome the friction of traditional support and deliver exceptional experiences. In this video, I will show you the steps to create a conversational AI for fast and friendly customer care with Watson X Assistant. Before we start, I recommend you to set up a My IBM account to launch IBM Cloud and get you to Watson X Assistant. Or you can simply create and log into IBM Cloud. It will take you to a dashboard. The resource list is where your projects will be saved as you work with IBM Cloud. To look for your past sessions, go to AI slash machine learning folder, launch a save session. How to set up my first Watson X Assistant session? Back to your dashboard, locate and click Use Watson X Assistant in the catalog. Select the nearest location from the drop down menu. Select Light Plan. This is free and has everything you need to get started. Go through the plan to learn its features and capabilities. This plan allows up to 1,000 unique monthly active users and up to 10,000 messages per month. Review the limitations of this plan. You can upgrade your plan for more actions and a richer dialogue. In this plan, we see there are up three assistants per instance, up to 100 actions, 7 days of usage analytics, and services are deleted after 30 days of inactivity. And while the dialogue you have up to 5 skills, 7 days of usage analytics, session inactivity, timeout 5 minutes, and deleted after 30 days of inactivity. Agree to the license agreements. Create your Watson X Assistant. Click Create. The information in this plan will be similar to what we have covered earlier. Go back to Manage. Start with the tutorial. Now the Watson X Assistant tutorial is a very comprehensive package. As a new user, I've selected some of the key topics for you to go through. Most of the materials would make more sense if you have some hands-on experience. The list of how to to build your first virtual assistant. Using auto learning to improve assistant responses. Now let's launch a Watson X Assistant. Click Launch Watson X Assistant to take you to another page. This page allows you to create your first assistant. In this page, go through the instructions, give your assistant a name, and it can allows you to change the language of your assistant. In this case, I'll keep to the default English language. Let's go back to home page. The roadmap comprises learning about Watson X Assistant, exploring resources, steps to create a conversation such as the action, the steps, and examples. You can preview or share your assistant with your team members and have fun. Let's learn about Watson X Assistant. Welcome to Watson Assistant. Watson Assistant allows anyone to build, publish, and improve a virtual assistant without writing code. By the end of this video, you'll know how to create your assistant's first action and share it with your team using a set of basic features as well as a couple of tricks we think you'll love. For a news user, it can be very confusing. You have not sure what to do. A roadmap such as this will be very helpful to guide you the next steps on what to learn, what to do to help you create your very first uh, virtual assistant with Watson X. As you become a more experienced user, you can do away the roadmap to go in depth to find out and learn by topic, explore lots of videos, documentation, articles to understand or to learn the Watson X assist in detail. Once you have enough of learning, you'll be very eager to start your very first conversation. Create action. Create action by starting from scratch or quick start with templates. Watson X Assistant has been preloaded with lots of templates that even allows you to filter by topic and industry. There's even a template for your assistant to tell jokes. Personally, I strongly encourage new users to start from scratch. By not using the template and create my first action, I feel I learn faster and have more fun with the tool. To help my viewers understand the amazing capabilities of Watson X Assistant, I've recorded a demo. Hope you enjoy my capability demo and you get inspired to create your virtual assistant. Sit back and enjoy. Thanks for joining this call for me to demonstrate the Watson X Assistant. I understand from our past discussion about your pain point that sometimes there are a lot of practitioners asking very similar questions on a recurring basis. What kind of certifications do they need? The necessary training they could do to help them with their certifications. I want to share how a Watson X Assistant can help you to address those pain points and the value add that we have with our product. I believe you already have the account platform and this is one of the modules called my Watson X Assistant. Click on the launch Watson X Assistant. For our call, I create a demo profile. I will also create some of the actions here just so for your interest. Assuming that we have a customer and we are the customers, Chatbot will actually greet you to find out and welcome to about how to assist you. Assume that I want to do a certification as a data engineer. So I just type I want to do a certification. Click enter. 
chatbot recognize that education but because there are so many certifications have let's say i want to choose an azure certification i'll click azure based on the program uh, responses actions these are the recommended certifications or the programs of the links to the learning platform uh, let's say i want to have a new action you could start from scratch where you can all use templates in the module i want to do a template i can see by topic from general all the way to generic bot conversations or you can even filter by industries. I will do a banking, authenticate a user. Okay. Customers will say things like login, sign, authenticate me. The assistant will start to collect uh, requesting for email addresses, uh, users' PIN code, security question responses. The uh, existing uh, previous features include steps, conditions, response validation, and, and uh, action variables. Create something new. We can start from scratch. I want to do AWS certification. I want to take an AWS exam. Oh, I want to get AWS certified. You can type in as many phrases you want. Step. The system may say things like, Great, which AWS certification would you like to take? And the define customer response, pick on options. And the options, AWS data analytics specialty, AWS data engineer, associate AWS cloud practitioner. So I click apply. You have the three options here to continue to the next step and other functions or any action. So uh, in this case, I feel like maybe you should go to another step, click next step without conditions or with conditions. With, uh, with conditions, will allow the virtual assistant to directly respond. We have an AWS data engineer associate course. Provide a post link here. Remember to save the step before you move on. The next feature I want to share with you is preview the virtual assistant based on what you have created. Created this, this virtual assistant. Notice that you could also copy link to share with your colleagues. You can also change the background, enter URL, upload an image. You can also customize the web chat uh, look and feel. I mean, in this case, I prefer a dark mode, so I choose a lot of black and gray. But you can change the accent color to, uh, for example, I choose, let's say, I choose green. So it's a bit too bright. So as you can see, as I move my color cursor, the preview panel here will also reflect the changes in the colors. Thanks for watching and I see you in my next video.